Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to MemberScript 124. So what this one is, is it allows you to toggle item visibility and that sounds a little bit boring, but this is a pretty cool member script. So essentially all it is on the most basic level is here, as you can see, we have a button. And if we click this button, then it makes something show up. And then this button shows up. And if we click it, it hides it. Click it, shows it, hides it, da 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 da. And along with that, the state will actually stay. So as you can see, if I refresh, then it shows this. But if I click, now we have this, as we can see. If I refresh, I'm refreshing, I don't know if you can tell, it stays in place. So it actually maintains that state as well. And this is all done with just three, four, four simple attributes. Um, and you can have multiple on the same page. It's super, super easy. And I'm now going to show you how to do it in Webflow. So first things first, go into your Webflow project and add the script for member script 124. Here it is within my demo project. All you're gonna need to do is copy and paste this wherever you're gonna need it. Always remember it's best practice not to put it site-wide unless you need it to be site-wide. Only use it on the pages that you actually need it. And then you're gonna need a couple of elements. First, you're gonna need whatever you want your button to show is. You're gonna need the button that you want to hide it. And then you're gonna need the item itself. And in Webflow, you're gonna want all of these to be set to display, flex, block, whatever it is that you have them in. As you can see here, we can see everything in the state that it is supposed to be in. Then all you need to do is add the following attributes. First things first, on that show button, you want ms code viz show, dashes in between, and then we have x here. And the value of all of these is x, and all that's doing is matching them up together so that you can make multiple on the same page. Then we have ms code viz hide, x again, and we have ms code viz item. And finally, there's one more attribute, which is MS code viz default. And that can either be hide or show. And that tells the script that you want it to either be hidden by default or displayed by default. And that is all you need to do. So as you can see, it is super, super simple. If you have any questions, please let me know in the member scripts chat channel in the member stack 2.0 Slack. I will talk to you soon. Hope this helped again. Have an awesome day.